In this video, we're going to get into the differences between the station offset labels for alignments. We're going to talk about the station offset and the station offset fixed point labels. So again, we're going to navigate up to the annotation tab. We're going to click on add labels and we're going to go ahead and drop down on our features to our alignment. And we're going to go ahead and go to a station offset fixed point and we're going to click add. So what you'll see is Civil 3D is going to ask us to select an alignment. I'll select this alignment here. And when I choose to place my label based on my station offset fixed point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the point I want to label and a label gets placed. Now, in relation to that, I'm going to go ahead and do a station offset and we're going to talk about what the differences are. So in the station offset command for labeling, I'm going to go ahead and select apply and I'm going to add a center line alignment label and I'm going to Again, it looks almost exactly the same. I'm gonna specify the location of my station for that label. But then what you see is Civil 3D now has locked in that station and I can place an offset label anywhere along that station alignment. So if you had a geometric component related to your alignment, but then you wanted to have an offset somewhere that wasn't on the exact spot that you wanted to link to, this is the perfect time to use this. So in general, most of the time, you're probably gonna be more than covered in using station offset fixed point because what you're gonna do is select your alignment, place it, do another placement, do another placement and another placement, and then we'll move on and do two more. And you're basically running through and placing offset location alignment labels based on specific points along your alignment at a specific spot. but if you, for example, wanted to know what the station was for the intersection of these two parcels, but you wanted to know what the offset was at the intersection of that parcel and this line for your offset here, then you would, you would be able to basically set your station based on this point here and then set your offset based on your, your line right here. And so, that's just uh, important because it, it gives you options to work with inside of Civil 3D.